Look at that thing, bro. Look how fucking clean this part. It, like, just the cab, the cabin looks. I was like, oh. <laughs> but I want to do uh, some yellow accents, like, on there somewhere. Yellow accents, and then, like, the red and white, like, reflecty tape. I think I'm going to do that, like, right here. You're going to put reflecty tape on it? Like, the, what's on the trailer. And I'm going to put it right here. Right here. On the button. <laughs> I, was, I don't know, just thinking, like, what? Like, to break up the black. You should get somebody to make you a stencil so that you can put fucking McMahon's. Have it hand painted on there. Spray painting on a, with a stencil is kind of hard to... That's what we, we we taped it and we did this. Like it runs. But... Something like that. Yeah, put McMahon hay supply on it or something. It looks... It just changes it up, I guess. I think it looks pretty fucking good. Like, just like glancing at it. Like, it's not perfect. But once I finish the, the top... And take that thing off. It's gonna look clean. Having the black up there too. You know, see those? Originally, it was leaking from these fittings right here. The guy at the at the hydraulic place said that these fittings they just suck. Like going into this, he's like, uh, they're pipe threading. Is that they they don't make them that size? This whole little thing in here is, was a pain because these lines are stiff to bend and move around, and it's really tight in here. When I first put it on, like when I would side shift, it. It was like rubbing on here. I'm gonna have to rebuild this cylinder. This hose right here puts all the pressure, all the hydraulic fluid into it. This hose right here is what takes the hydraulic fluid out when it decompresses. There should be no fluid in here. It should be completely decompressed and only this should have fluid in it. But it squirted fluid out of here when we did that, which means the hydraulic fluid is passing through here when it shouldn't be so that's why it's floating when we squeeze something it'll slowly open back up did all this work to the squeeze we forgot to disconnect the battery just gonna have to charge up a little bit if it ain't one thing it's another thing that battery is dead I'm trapped. <laughs> I'm gonna have to crawl. I told Chris he called. He called me late last night. I was in bed. I was about to fall asleep, and my phone was like. I look over, and it's like Christopher. I was like, "Hello." He's like, "What you doing? Sleeping?" I was like, "I'm about to." He was like, "We don't got time for that." I was like, "I'm trying to work tomorrow." He was like, "Hey, you need Teff this week? Maybe. It depends on what we sell this week." He was like, "Did I ever send you that number for that lady that wants half truckload?" I was like, "No. You told me about her though." He's like. Sent me the number. I like, all right, I'll call her in the morning. If she accepts half a truckload, then yes, I'll need a TEF load. He's like, all right, let me know. Hopefully Perlman likes that hay. I gotta call him and let him know that Shawnee boy's about to be on his way. Yeah. He was like, he'll be here for five minutes and he'll be gone. <laughs> I was like, all right. <laughs> Have fun with Sean. Morning, Caden. How you doing, bro? It's been a little while. Been up. Funky. You didn't want to go to Granola Bar? You know the park right here? Once you get like past the hills? You know, not the first park, the second park coming this way. We're gonna go up behind there and into Goatlandia when we get there. It's all like fenced in, like where he unleashes his goats. Nice. He straight whipping, bro. He was not lying. He said high speed. I didn't even know the thing moved that fast. That's faster than the fucking squeeze, dude. Badass, dude, you guys are badass. Wonder how long they've been out here farting around. I fucking no Phil knows. Dude, you get run over and not, literally, bro, you wouldn't even know it. It's like a super duper all-terrain vehicle. That is a fresh truck, bro. I mean, he had that before. Right, you, you gotta roll your window up, bro. This is where these bitch ass bugs are at. Like, it doesn't even matter. They're gonna be all over the hay, anyways. 
It's just fucking ridiculous. A few moments later. Good night. We just finished up. Uh, Mr. Pearlman. He did not want to be recorded. That's okay. You guys didn't miss much. It's really easy. He just chatted me up about taxes. I guess fill those taxes for the people. Shut up, Phil. Show him your money, kid. Show him, bro, and tell him what he said. Phil Sean, said. you're simply not paying us enough, bro. Phil said it, and he meant it, bro. So Phil said, it. whatever the boss man's paying you, you ain't getting paid enough. Caden got a tip Give me today, five bro. Five bucks. Caden got a tip because Phil told his ass he couldn't film. <laughs> Dude, yeah, one time. When I was leaving Phil's, a fucking string, because that man just has all kinds of strings laying on the floor, had like gotten caught up in uh, the fence, and then it got like stuck on some part of the truck. So I was rolling away like that, and it like, not this whole fucking fence, like it wasn't even that bad, but I, like I fucking ripped all this shit off, dude. Like all the chicken wire off. I got out the truck, I turned the truck off, and I just started grabbing a string and tying shit back up. <laughs> and he was like, oh, oh, he was like, you were hooked, and I was like, yeah, Phil, I know, bro. I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> he was like, it's okay, we'll just tie it. And I was like, I, I was good, I was, so that figured, bro. I like that trick, so. Dude, when I have kids, I wanna take them to school and some absurd shit like that. My daddy brought me to school in a helicopter today. I don't know what they're loading up, but you and I are gonna go see Eileen and Maya. Sweet Maya. It's like stuffy from like a like a blanket or a pillow or some shit. Like a bed or something. Since uh, Sean's gonna be on video all day, he's gotta freaking have a a new hat to be in the videos. He gotta have a, a new a new hat. <laughs> what about my old one? Why do I need a new one? So you look good and crispy oh, on video, bro. You, you don't think I look good in my old hat, Sean? No, I like the old hats. I think it, it looks good because you have the authentic sweat, crisp, like the hay dust, but... That's a little too big for my big head. A, a new one, though. Hmm. I'll be feeling this right now, bro. I'll be f a new hat with just a little bit of hay on it because, like, it's new, but you're still doing something in it. That, that's the, the best. Dude, game up. Look at that. <laughs> There's nothing against a dirty hat. I'll be rocking a dirty hat pretty much everywhere I go. So. All I got is dirty hats at this point, bro. I just recently replaced these these two hydraulic lines. I thought I remembered which sides I put them on and then to which point in the cylinder I did, but I put them on backwards from what they used to be. So originally pushing both forward was opening both of them and pushing down was was squeezing. But now pushing forward is is closing closing it and going down is, is to the opposite way. So now these are backwards, so they go opposite directions of each other. So I'm gonna have to fix that. It's not ergonomic. Like, to squeeze, like you wanna pull bull, not go Watch it. It slowly floats out right there.
Bro, my lady needs to get a new vacuum this weekend. So we were at uh, Target. She was trying to get one of them fucking expensive ass cordless ones. You know, she's baller like that. She could do that, bro. She do whatever she want. So we found a nice one, bro. And it was only 200 bucks, right? Fuckers messed it up though. Cause they rung it up. Guess how much this shit was? $400, right? So Madison was like, whoa. The display said that that one was $200. And so we got that sucker for $200. That shit's lit. The lady was fucking in disbelief. She was like, I can't believe they did this. I can't believe you've done this. Come on, man. Fuck. Dang, bro. My stomach's making noises. Working hard. Caden got paid five extra dollars today. Yeah. For being an outstanding, upstanding member of society. You can tell that I can't see because of the way my eyes see. Damn. Like it ain't even that hot out here, right? No, no, no. I ain't even like that tired. But like, bro, if you looked at me, the sweat looks so much more than like how I feel. Bro, it'd be pissing me off. over here over there where they have like I don't know if you can see it on camera it's like the, the rusty like pipe corral stuff heavy-duty rusty stuff pipes she got that and it looks nice over there too that's where I dropped it last time she gets a, uh, her Bermuda over there and she's gonna get some real nice alfalfa over here easy drop. easy drop those things are so sick I think they're manure spreaders you see that mini horse trailer over there? That thing is badass too. I've never seen one that small. I wonder if it's for like a little, little baby horse, like a little dwarf horse. What are they called? Ponies? Mini horse? The small ones. The ones that come out of the factory small. Look at that mountain range. 100% man. Go get some gas. I'll see you guys back at the yard, bro. We'll see you back at the yard. Me and Caden, bro. We made it back. Go ahead, track. Pretty easy day. Sean and Jesse. Just down the road, somewhere that way. Be here any minute. Uh huh. We got tomorrow. Are you coming tomorrow? Caden ain't gonna be here tomorrow. We'll be here tomorrow. Doing what we do with what we got. Make it work. Kill the game. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and ask questions. Ask lots of questions in the comments. Cause maybe not me, but somebody can answer them. But maybe there's questions I can answer. There might be. I don't know everything, but I know some things. One or two of them at least. Maybe I help one or two of you guys out. Anyway, we'll see you around. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Yeah.